these are the top three biggest green window jump shots in NBA 2K23. Jump shot number one is going to be base Pippen with release one Rudy and release two Canard and 2674 for the Bundy. Now that you guys do have the jump shot, I'm sure a lot of you guys are just going to click off the video, but trust me, you do not want to do that. Because not only am I going to be giving you guys the top three jump shots for swings, like guards, and big men, meaning you might not even be able to use this jump shot, and this jump shot might not be the best jump shot for you, but also I'll be telling you guys how to use all these jump shots, and I think my explanations are pretty helpful. For example, if you guys just clicked off the video as soon as I showed you guys this jump shot, you wouldn't know that this jump shot is incredibly good if you are extremely delayed. For example, I'm on the west coast, but whenever I play on a server that's on the east coast, I always slap on this jump shot here, whenever I'm on my six foot nine swing build. As well, this jump shot is very crazy, both off the dribble and off the catch, and it's just so, so good all around. To time this jump shot, you can either use meter or no meter. But if you are using no meter, obviously, you're going to need to know the cue of this jump shot here. If you guys don't know what a cue is, it's pretty much something that just indicates you want to run square. A cue pretty much makes it so easy to green any jump shot. As soon as you see your cue, you basically really square. For example, for this jump shot here, for the cube, I basically look at the ball. And then as soon as I see the ball above my player's head, like right here, I just really square. Using this cue right here just makes it a thousand times easier to green. All right, so now for our second of three swing jump shots, this is going to be base of Benedict Mathurin. I hope I said that correctly. With 56% of Luke Kennard and 44% Precious Achua. This jump shot only requires a 79 three-point rating, which is much, much lower than the previous jump shot. So if you guys do have a kind of low three-point rating, then I would recommend slapping on this jump shot right here. Just like the previous jump shot, this thing is incredibly, incredibly fast, and it's very, very good both off the dribble and off the catch. As well, it's really, really consistent, and if you're a beginner, this is a very good beginner jump shot that you can just pick up and learn so, so easily. As well, just like the previous jump shot, the jump shot does have a very, very big green window and work from everywhere on the floor, including from deep, which of course just makes stretching the floor so much easier. With the cue of this jump shot, it's very, very similar to the previous jump shot. What you're gonna wanna do is of course, a start by looking at the ball. You'll see the ball come up basically behind your player's head and then change directions and start swinging towards the basket. What you're gonna wanna do is release square when the ball starts swinging towards the basket. So when it starts its forward motion, you're gonna wanna release square. So like right here, I release square and if I release square right here it's green every single time. Alright so now for our third and last swing jump shot. You guys see it's going to be big as a JT Thor with release one Rudy and release two Nikki Alexander Walker with 47.53 for the bunting. This jump shot here only requires a 67 three point rating which is kind of crazy. Now as far as what types of builds and play styles I would recommend using this jump shot on pretty much if you have a low three point rating and you can't unlock any jump shot in this game use this jump shot here. It's honestly not even that bad and so so good with a low three-point rating and low-key kind of turned my 72 three-point rating build into a sharpshooter there's so so many good low three-point rating jump shots in this game you honestly do just have to look for them and i'm kind of making it easy for you guys by testing a ton of different jump shots to give you guys the best ones this jump shot will work both off the catch and off the dribble it's great from everywhere on the floor especially the corner for some reason like for a period of time i was literally just sitting in the corner and i was screening absolutely everything as well the jump shots is very very consistent and very easy to pick up and learn now, the cue of this jump shot is literally just the exact same thing as the previous jump shot, if you do remember that jump shot there. To remind you guys, what I pretty much do is I look at the ball, I try to pick up the ball as early as possible, then I just stare at the ball and I wait until the ball changes directions and start moving towards the basket. And you guys see right here, it's basically just starting to swing towards the basket and then I go ahead and really square and it's green every single time. All right, so that's going to do it for the top three swing jump shots, in my opinion. Now, let me give you guys a few guard jump shots. King this list off is going to be base Garland with release one holiday, release two Ellington with a 1288 for the bunting. Now, this jump shot actually got recommended from a subscriber and I was not expecting it to be this good. Now, don't get me wrong, it does look a little bit weird, but it is so, so good. It kind of reminds me of set shot 25 from last year. It ju it's just absolutely unguardable despite looking kind of weird. It's so, so fast. It's really difficult to contest. It it's literally just green every single time and has a massive green window. Some people are using Garland day one of this game being out and then since then pretty much nobody uses it which is why i was not expecting to be good whatsoever now this jump shot here is going to excel the most off of the dribble off the catch it also is pretty decent and from deep this jump shot is also very very crazy with this jump shot here it just feels very very easy to quick stop with although quick stopping isn't really in the game this year this jump shot here is also very very consistent very easy to green basically every single time and if you do want to be able to green every single time what you're pretty much going to want to do is a look out the ball and wait until the ball hits your player's head of course it's not actually going to hit your player's head but basically what i mean is wait until the ball gets 
as close as possible to your player's head. You guys see right at this point here, the ball is literally like inches away from my player's head. So I go ahead and release square and it's going to end up being green. All right, so right now, that's probably honestly my favorite guard jump shot. I've been using it nonstop. But the next jump shot is going to be base Kyle Lowry with release one Nikhil Alexander-Walker and release two Stephen Curry with 63-37 for the bunding. This right here is a very, very solid like mid to low three-point rating jump shot. It's going to be absolutely crazy both off the dribble and off the catch as well as extremely fast and has a giant green window as well it's going to be very very good if you are a beginner it's also very very good if you are a delayed player it's going to work for absolutely everyone on the floor and it's very very consistent to be honest this is a very very smooth very straightforward jump shot that to be honest you really don't need that much experience to use so if you're literally brand new to this game like 2k23 is your first 2k ever playing an nba 2k game then this might be a very good jump shot for you because it's just very very simple i would most definitely recommend this to a lot of beginners you can use meter or no meter. As I said, it's very, very good if you're a beginner. And for the cue of this jump shot, what you're pretty much going to want to do is a look at the ball. You'll see the ball come up and basically hit your player's head, a pause there for a little bit, and change directions and move towards the basket. What you're going to want to do is release score when the ball starts its movement towards the basket. You guys see right here, there's like a little bit of separation between my player's head and the ball. So I go ahead and release square, and it's going to end up being green. All right, so now for our third place guard jump shot, it is going to be base KPJ with release one Oscar Robertson and release two Randy Jackson. Now, to be honest, this might be like my third favorite jump shot on this list. This thing is so good. You only need a 76 three-point rating, but yet somehow it is, it's just so crazy. It's super fast, probably one of the smoothest jump shots in this game. Super straightforward, super easy to learn. Despite requiring a pretty low three-point rating, as I said, it's super, super fast. And also, it's pretty difficult to contest for some reason. Usually, if it's kind of a low three-point rating jump shot, both those things are very hard to come by. This is going to excel the most off the dribble, and it's going to work from everywhere on the floor. And as well, it's a super, super easy jump shot that's super smooth, super consistent. And yeah, pretty much any time I make a new build and I don't have the VC to upgrade the three-point rating all the way up to a very, very high rating, I just slap on this jump shot right here. To sign this jump shot correctly, what you're pretty much going to want to do is do the exact same cue as like a few jump shots ago. What you're pretty much going to want to do is look at the ball and wait until the ball hits your player's head. As I've been saying, it's not actually going to hit your player's head, but it's going to get very, very close to your player's head. And when you guys see the ball is basically touching your player's head, like right here, go ahead and release square and it'll be green every single time. All right, so like, yeah, that's going to do it for all our guard jump shots. Now for the big men. Kicking off our top three big man jump shots is going to be base Eric Pascal with release one marvin bagley and release two y'all such a with 52 48 for the point this jump shot here requires an 83 point rating nothing too too crazy most builds will be able to unlock this jump shot here it's pretty fast it'll be great both off the dribble and off the catch it's super super consistent pretty good for beginners as well one downside of the jump shot i have kind of noticed is that's not very good if you are on delay so maybe use one of the future jump shots i'm going to give you guys yeah but beyond that there's really nothing this jump shot just cannot do and is going to be absolutely crazy all around so moving on to how to actually time this jump shot for the cue of this jump shot, what you're pretty much going to want to do is start by looking at the ball as always, and then basically wait till the ball starts swinging towards the basket. So you guys see at this point right here, the ball has stopped going backwards and has started going forwards. And if we went forward like three more frames, we'd just see the ball get absolutely launched. And yeah, that's basically where you really square to green the shot every single time. All right, so for our second big man jump shot and our second to last jump shot of this video, this is going to be base Mortis Wagner with release one LA and release two. I believe this is the slowest jump jump shot on this list right here but it's also just a very very solid very very easy jump shot to green in my personal opinion it's not my favorite jump shot ever but i do know a ton of people that really really love this base morris wagner base and as well find the la upper release very very solid this jump shot as i said is not the fastest jump shot in the world but it is very easy to green has a very very big green window it's pretty consistent it'll work from everywhere on the floor especially the corners it's very very good from the corners and it's probably gonna excel more so off the catch than off the dribble to time this jump shot correctly what you're pretty much gonna want to do is start by looking at the ball and wait till the ball goes all the way back you guys see at this point here the ball is basically fully back and it's pretty much about to change directions and start going towards the basket so i go ahead and just release go right here and it'll be green every single time all right so now for what is going to be the last jump shot of this video and obviously our third big man jump shot this is a super super low three-point rating big man jump shot you guys see his base mantras hail with a release on la and release to yasso de cupo with 30 70 from one day now this jump shot here is honestly just an absolutely crazy low three-point rating big man jump shot that's just absolutely amazing all around it's very very consistent i'll work from everywhere on the floor and it's just very easy to read 
This jump shot here is honestly very, very easy. I don't know why 2K gave you such good low three-point rating big man jump shots this year. Base Montrose Hill is honestly just cracked. To time the jump shot correctly, what you pretty much go on to do is wait until the ball gets all the way back. So you guys see right here, it's basically just a fully above my player's head, and it's gonna change the direction to go for the basket. So I go ahead and release barrel here. And yeah, that's gonna do it for the video. Subscribe if you have no time.